How you doing, everybody? Randy Richard in shop. I'm gonna do a little X-car project here uh, for my wife and daughter. These are uh, little plexiglass quilting patterns. These are these one uh, these we made here from eighty thousandths uh, plexiglass type material. Uh, it's not plexiglass brand, but it's a similar brand, similar stuff. So uh, we're gonna cut them out, do some engraving on them, and. Uh, with the x-car um, we'll have it all laid out on there so uh thanks a lot you guys thanks for all the subscribers thanks for watching and uh kind of an interesting little project thanks so what we're looking at here is v carve pro and this is the patterns i've drawn out for the plexiglass and the quilting patterns this is uh, 18 by 24 and these are just these are uh, patterns uh the outside edges of them they'll be cut out the inside lines you'll see are scribed lines all these are scribed lines and and characters or that we're going to um, you know uh, scribe in there or engrave i should say i guess oh, they'll just be scribed lines but they'll be engraved we'll use the diamond engraver on them and uh now the little holes you see, those are I put those in there to hold pieces down and hold the material down and stuff. That's all those holes are representative. But anyway, we'll uh, hopefully cut them out and see, see show you in the end there how they look. Uh, these are for quilts, uh, quilting. Uh, I guess you use different patterns and to make different quilts and things like that. I don't, I'm not into that, but my wife and daughters and stuff are. So we're gonna make some of these. Make around. Uh, I'm gonna make these out of 80,000 sticks uh, plexiglass. So let's go uh, try to get her done. And then they'll say it doesn't go real good in the plastic. Oh well, there. That's going to that hole from before. <laughs> Now we're going to put in some hold down screws. I know you can't really tell what we're doing, but we're uh, in doing engraving in the in the plexiglass. You, oh, you can see it. Yeah. See? Yeah. Okay. Let's full zoom in. So. Oh, I, I left it at that one inch height for so it didn't hit anything, but I could have. Oh, I see. You mean. See how? Yeah. See, you I should have changed. I, oh, yeah. I should. I should have changed it. The next one will change it, so that's a lot shorter. Make it a quarter inch or something. You have to type the names of what these templates mean. I think we could have gone deeper. Oh yeah. See it. Well, okay. It's cutting it. But I think it could be deeper. Well, we can do it for... No more pressure, so we'll just bring it down. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll have to set it for deeper. Oh, it cuts it so good, though. It cuts it nice. We're gonna set up, we're gonna speed it up. It needs to do, uh, it's gonna do, it's only gonna do like 30,000 or four times around. But I went deeper, so. It's not perfectly flat. And I don't know how it's gonna cut into plastic. But I didn't, I didn't put like 25 that? inches a minute, we can go faster than that. Yeah, but it's, it's on the outside of the pattern. Okay. 
So it just keeps going around and around and around. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's why we have the screw. We don't want that thing to come loose. And I think it'll screw it up. We want to cut it, stay there, and then... Yeah, I don't know if it went. Yeah, we might have to, we might have to carve that out. Sure. Just a little edge cleanup, boy. That came out like perfect. Just perfect. Very cool. Trying to speed up the mask. Yeah, that's better. Cutting down the wood there now. Good. Peel off the plastic. Nice, clean edges. So we finished up making the quilt patterns and getting them cut out and everything. Uh, I did have some issues there uh, all that you'll see. And... Uh, don't know really what why I think it's uh, communication issues with using the vert universal code sender uh, if I seem to close the program and reopen it each time I want to send code I don't seem to have a problem so uh, it's either that or maybe the computers doing something in the background uh, while we're trying to carve something so I uh, gonna have to look into the computer issues Anyway, you know, they came out good. I'm very happy, uh, really, with the way they came out now. I'm not happy with using uh, some of these lacquer sticks. This is what I tried on these. Uh, lacquer stick, fill-in paint. You know, they're pretty recommended on the Internet. But I think the Diamond Scribe uh, engraving maybe isn't really quite deep enough to do this really well. I mean, it came out pretty good. I got my white paper so you could see that. And I'll zoom in here and show you. But, you know, uh, as far as scribing lines and marking them all out and cutting the, the plastic, really, it went very well. We'll zoom in on them. And there's a little bit of zoom in. Now, the camera doesn't like this white background, so uh, it looks pretty good. But you can see the clarity of the lines, especially with the little black uh, lacquer stuff in the in the engravings. Uh, so, you know, they really came out quite well. So, you know, for the first time go around using a plexiglass type material, um, these are pretty good. Uh, next time I think I, I mean, these are not, not an eighth of an inch. This is 80,000 stick plastic. And I think I'd do it a little thicker plastic. Uh, it might be a little better, but. But they came out real good, right on size uh, that they wanted. This is for my wife and daughters. Uh, they do a lot of quilting. And so, uh, we may, I don't know. These are whatever they drew up. I don't know where they came up with them or got them out of magazines uh, or whatever. <laughs> but, 
uh, they're, they're not for sale. They're just they're just for themselves. So, but I'm just showing you, you know, some of the stuff you can do with the X carve. You don't have to stick with wood. There's other things you can do. So, thanks a lot, you guys. Appreciate it.